Some days you think you've seen it all, but we're here to tell you, you haven't. You're about to fill your insatiable appetite for stimulation on some abnormal, out-of-the-box content. We promise that after you watch this, you'll probably never make the claim, I've seen it all, again. It can be new wonders of the natural world or technological advancements straight out of a science fiction movie. These things are happening every day, and it's our job to let you know. Here are 15 things for those who have already seen everything. Pipeline Blasting Blasting is an effective solution when constructing an underground pipeline through rock it's the most cost-effective approach as well as the fastest option when excavating your trench. Blasting also allows control, which is essential in residential or commercial areas. There are two stranded methods that companies who blast utilize. They are defined as conventional and controlled. Conventional blasting uses equal charge in every blast hole. This produces less ground vibration when in process, but is more likely to overbreak. Controlled blasting utilizes different leveled explosions. While this causes more ground rumble, it isn't likely to overbreak like the other method. Both are viable for getting the job done and are employed by blasting companies around the globe. These vast tunnels are enormous projects and require thousands of pounds worth of explosives. With that being said, extreme attention to detail is required with such a job. A mess up around thousands of pounds of things that go boom couldn't end well. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. We hope this person doesn't hurt their back they're literally lifting a huge tree and a carpet of soil beneath it, like it was nothing. Or maybe the tree was blown over by terrible winds and has lifted the carpet on its own. This person just took advantage of a photo op once the weather improved. Truth is, trees fall over all the time, and sometimes their root systems can be connected to other roots for miles. Soil, too, can get so saturated with water that it acts like a waterbed but somehow it's all part of some natural plan that we're lucky to witness. But tell us if this sort of thing happens where you live. Just use the hashtag sweet topic and share your comment below. Next level piranha fishing. You can call this type of fishing crazy, but you can't argue with the results. The girl captured on the footage is only a teenager and she's a piranha fishing pro. Who knew fishing could be so easy? By dunking a piece of meat into the water with their bare hands, the voracious predators swarm and latch onto the meat. A good shaking over a bucket and voila, piranha dinner for the week. Once the meat has grown hefty with attacking piranhas, she yanks it from the water, revealing the hungry predators still attached. While they certainly can't devour their prey at the speed they've been exaggerated, they still can do it with incredible speed and ruthlessness. It's almost magical how the water seems to boil whenever she dunks the meat into it. This is the crazy piranha swarming, hopping over one another and fighting for a chance to bite and taste the flesh. That pier the teenager is standing on doesn't look too sturdy. Hopefully she doesn't fall in. Watching what they can do to a piece of meat is one thing. Having it happen to a human is a nightmare. Kiruna sweetens moving. It's not often that entire towns are forced to move, but these are unprecedented times. Human impact on the area is forcing Sweden to relocate the town of Kiruna two miles east of its original location. The urban planners and architects responsible for the move say the biggest challenge isn't moving the buildings, it's bringing an age-old community with them. The town is Sweden's northernmost town and has a population size of around 18,000. Not huge, but also not tiny. The once underground mine that made the town thrive is now swallowing the town altogether. To save the inhabitants and the buildings from certain doom, they have to move or suffer the inevitable fate of being swallowed by the earth. The mining company is moving 20 significant buildings with others to follow soon. The rest of the town is being built from scratch. Brand new homes for everyone. Many people are up for the move and have begun transitioning for it, but others are much more resistant. Some have a long cherished history and others have a stubbornness that things will blow over. Either way, the official city is located in official two miles east, so throw away those old maps. <laughs> Kamchatka Mosquito Tornadoes Mosquitoes are the worst. Tornadoes are pretty bad too. Mosquito tornadoes are the thing of nightmares. Though the event in Kamchatka happens annually, it's still a fantastic sight. They're used to swirling mosquito tornadoes, but the unprepared onlooker might get panicked. If you live there or not, 
This many mosquitoes are bad news. Imagine being outside in that mosquito storm. They probably suck your blood clean before you make it to your destination. Heavy rains create new, idle bodies of water safe for mosquitoes to lay their eggs. When there is plenty of safe water, there are plenty of eggs and hatchings like the one that emerges in plague-like proportions. From a distance, vast fields appear to have black tendrils emanating from the land. They're all mosquito tornadoes. Those who live in the area say the fields of mosquitoes sometimes get so thick they can barely see the roads and are forced to let them pass before continuing. Although a few mosquitoes are bad, numbers like this are just insane. <laughs> Dubai Cloud Seeding Rain Dubai is ahead of many technological curves, but controlling the weather? No way. Yes way, and the impressive technology could help the city survive the 122 Fahrenheit heat. The forest rainfalls are created by using drones. They are equipped with EMP emanating technology and allows them to zap clouds to form larger congregations and thus increase precipitation. While it is truly extraordinary to manipulate the weather, scientists warn this could already exacerbate an extremely fragile ecosystem and push it past the breaking point. For now, the technology is just considered experimental but works like a charm. The future environmental hazards, however, are still relatively unknown. At a different point in time, they may have been riskier with their work. Still, the world is already walking a thin line when it comes to ecological disasters. The Dancing Robots It's hard to determine whether watching this video elicits awe, hilarity, or creepiness. Maybe a little bit of all of them. Either way, the Boston Dynamics Dancing Robot is an incredible accomplishment in robotics. These robots aren't trying to dazzle you with their exceptional artificial intelligence or even computer vision to sense their surroundings. They're carrying out precisely programmed dance routines. That doesn't take away from how incredible these robots can move. They're fluid like human movement. Unlike the notorious characteristic of moving like a robot, using an exclusive interface called Choreographer, designed by Boston Dynamics, engineers can essentially drag and drop different actions for the 20-plus actuators to decide exactly how and when it moves. These bots can really get down. It's clear that Boston Dynamics is on the bleeding edge of robotics. The Bottle Balancing Master This guy is fantastic. He can balance anything, anywhere, anytime. His incredible stunts have been stunning millions of internet viewers and he's skyrocketing into legendary status. He says it is a highly patient hobby with high chances of failure with every project. In fact, only about 20% of projects actually turn out, and when they do, they're dazzling works of art. While he continues to learn what can balance on top of one another, he does have bags of tricks from which he can pull to dazzle the world. One project of smaller objects nearly took him 10 hours to complete. 10 hours! That's a lot of time to put into trying to balance something. No wonder he's the only person in the world who can do what he can do. This balancing master has been practicing for 20 years and enjoys trying even when he fails. His son has gotten in on the action and participated in many of his works. Maybe he'll pass down the tradition and we'll have two balancing masters. <laughs> the Well of Bar Gaudi Surrounded in mystery and tales of demonic activity, the Well of Bar Gaudi, locally termed the Well of Hell, is a scantily understood natural wonder that even scientists are unsure of what comes next. The giant hole in the Al Marad Desert stretches 100 feet wide and is hypothesized to be anywhere between 330 and 825 feet deep. It is literally a giant hole of mystery, bolstered by foul and toxic odors emanating from its mouth. These toxins, of course, being sulfur and rotten egg-like smells, a significant university professor of glaciology and paleoclimatology suggests the hole is a collapsed pingo, which occurs when an ancient Permian ice formation finally melts. Others theorize it's a major sinkhole. Sinkholes can be caused both naturally and by human means. Human processes like drilling, mining, and construction have been shown to accelerate and or exasperate sinkholes in the area. When the well showed up, there was plenty of those activities going on in the area. The hole is the most infamous spot in the country and contains the worst water on the planet. Officials say they have no idea what's in the hole aside from a few feet deep. No human has ever been to the bottom, and because it's so deep there would be no oxygen and it's full of toxins. Special equipment would be required, equipment yet to be invented. <laughs> Amazing Musical Waterfall 
If there's a country hard at work improving its landscape, it's China. As crazy as it sounds, this high-rise, glass-floored, man-made waterfall is a big hit for the country and sees tourism spike in most surrounding areas. Dubbed the musical waterfall is one of the latest in this approach and proves China knows what it's doing. This corridor in the clouds was set to be the highest glass corridor in the world, beating China's previously owned held record. This monster attraction just juts out from a building and stands 1,600 feet above the ground. The fantastical invention offers stunning views of the surrounding country. When the sun goes down, the party only starts. Refracting and dancing across the water are independent beams of light that put on a water show worthy of a Disney World display. The light show that goes on at night is just as much as a spectacle as the natural views that surround you. It proves how much engineering went into its creation. With a thickness of 6 centimeters and transparency of 99.9 percent, the transparent floor glass is the world's most advanced, largest single-pane glass ever created. Incredible Drone Herding Who needs sheepdogs when you got drones that bark? Plus, you don't have to feed a drone. Unless you consider charging it feeding it, but that's different. Farmers are already using drones around the globe for a plethora of farming tasks, including herding sheep, surveying crops, and even irrigation. Having the devices deal directly with animals is not common today. Still, it offers a stunning vision of what the agricultural world could look like soon. Shepherds are utilizing both dogs and drones in tandem, and the results are astounding. The dogs are learning to work alongside the drones with stunning efficiency. Farmers and sheep herds quickly point out there will always be a place for a dog on the farm. It can never be replaced, especially by some flying drone. They say while a drone has to charge, a dog is always willing to work and contribute to the pack. <coughs> Crazy Vimy Crop Circle For the world, it's another display of mathematically precise phenomena. To the farmer whose field was affected, it's a 2 to 3,000 square feet loss of yield. How did it get there? Who put it there? And why? All questions and no answers. As usual, many suspect alien activity, others of secret societies rising from exile. As it's believed to be, the cross may represent the Knights of Templar and reference the area's turbulent, violent past. The city of Vimy was utterly razed during the First World War. This thing is massive. No man, especially overnight, could have pulled off such a feat. Something else is going on here. From a bird's eye view, the shape almost pops off the land. The shadows formed by the sun's position giving it even further depth and texture. Whoever or whatever made this crop circle sure had some skills in the art. Waterless Regatta Alice Springs, Australia, a large town in the heart of Australia's Northern Territory, holds a boat race on Todd River with no water. In fact, the river is scarcely ever wet let alone filled enough to conduct a boat race. The boats, as the contestants call them, are bottomless kayaks that enable the rowers to poke out their legs and run through the dried up river path. The event draws the attention of hundreds of participants. They make their boats their own, so each participant brings their own flair and charm to the race. Bringing creativity into the mix really adds to the magic. Fashioned out of metal frames in the shapes of yachts, kayaks, and traditional rowing boats, artists can design the boats however they choose, it's become a part race, part art festival. The final event of the day, known as the Battle of the Boats, involves three cars disguised as boats and engaging in combat with water balloons and cannons. While the river itself isn't cooling anyone off, the waterless in its name is for the title alone. The Mystery Soda Machine This is what happens when a person ends up with a soda machine after a garage sale. One strange day, this soda vending machine just popped up out of nowhere. It dispensed cans of pop for just 75 cents, while the runs around the block were asking for a buck fifty. Pretty typical, right? Turns out the cheaper vending machine had long been abandoned by its supplier, yet still managed to stay in stock. But how? Well, no one knows the exact identity of the person behind the mystery soda machine. The flavors of soda would change until eventually the addition of the mystery button changed everything everyone just had to press that mystery button. The complete history of the now defunct machine is lost in the heaps and heaps of backyard exchanges it most likely endured. Locals would drop their change into the machine for a time and it always gave something back. Aren't there vending machines that have trouble doing this today? Eventually, all the buttons turned into a mystery and you'd never know what you'd get. Then it went away forever. 
never to be seen or make someone happy again. The most dangerous hike in the world. This is the most dangerous hike in the world, and it's the path to get to the actual hike that makes it so. During this treacherous climb, you'll scale crumbling edges with nothing more than a chain to hold you back from plummeting towards Earth. This one is certainly for those seeking top thrills. Those attempting to conquer its treacherous paths are literally hugging the wall and moments to slide your way to safety. The extreme hike is not for the faint of heart. Believe it or not, it's more popular as a site for pilgrimage than tourism. The gorgeous mountain is one of China's five sacred ranges. The hike and mountain itself are popular pilgrimage locations for monks. The strenuous hike is often packed with those seeking to conquer its challenges, making the trail more complicated by adding crowd density. Make sure you bring enough food and drink for the return trip. World's Rarest Coin At first glance, it might seem irresistible to turn down one of these rare American coins, but for those known to actually own them, it only brought them ill luck. Some people have even died in mysterious ways. It may be gold and all, but would you take a curse with it? The coin in question is correctly known as the St. Gaudens Gold Coin, a series of American minting from 1907 to 1933. The now valuable coins range in high and low relief versions, rare dates, and some to never be seen again, possibly out there in some fountain. There are only 22 known mints of the ultra-high relief coins of 1907. When brainstorming the idea of changing the nation's currency, President Theodore Roosevelt wrote a message to the then Treasury Secretary stating, I think our coinage is artistically of atrocious hideousness. Would it be possible, without asking permission of Congress, to employ a man like St. Gaudens to give a coinage that would have some beauty? Roosevelt was a known art connoisseur and wanted the nation's money to better reflect the people and ideals there. So the coins were minted and the legend of the world's rarest coin set in motion. In 1933, FDR issued Executive Order in 6102, which stated, All persons are hereby required to deliver on or before May 1, 1933, to a Federal Reserve Bank or a branch or agency thereof, or to any member bank of the Federal Reserve System, all gold coin, gold bullion, and gold certificates now owned by them or coming into their ownership on or before April 28, 1933. He's made it illegal to own gold and asked for us to give it to the government. How atrocious! In this act, many of these coins were scooped up by the elite. Despite all the amazing things you hadn't seen on this list, there are plenty more where that came from. There will always be a plethora of new and exciting things to see. From animal bloopers to natural phenomena, our world is full of unlimited possibilities. Mother Nature, the circle of life, heck, even humans tend to be surprising every so often, especially that latter one. No matter, it's just as essential to keep your eyes open to the world and to continue to see those new things from a different angle. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.